Well, welcome back. And Donna Hopkins is my guest. And she is a master gardener. And she is showing us how to make compost. Now, you can go buy it. But there's something kind of fun with you. And you make it. And then when you get ready to plant something, you simply put this in the, put the container the or whatever, the That's ground, right. whatever. Mm -hmm. and, and That's right. Use it as a, it's like a fertilizer. That's correct. And I was, I said to her during the break, wouldn't this be fun if you have kids or grandkids, you know, to let them help you and put the stuff in, in here and watch it and then put it into the ground when, when that's you're going right. to plant. That's right, and to see what it turns into. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's amazing. So this, this is the beginning of composting. That's right. So we're just going to recap a little bit that to compost, you have to have a place to compost, a dedicated space, whether it's a bin or just a space on the ground. You have to have greens, browns, turning the sun and water. Okay, God takes and care of the sun that's and the water, right. and you have to put all this stuff <laughs> and in. That's right. And, and this is coffee grounds it. in here? Yes, coffee grounds, tea and, bags, and, vegetable shavings. And uh, vegetable, uh, uh, and grass peel peelings. peelings from potatoes. That's right. Here's a piece of an oh, apple okay. that didn't get that's eaten. That's right. That's amazing. Grass shavings, that's right. So these are our browns, and our browns, to recap, are the paper, the shredded paper, leaves, and I happen to have wood shavings for my husband's, oops, oh, it's going, from my husband's woodworking. Okay, so that's all right. So I'm going to move that. Um, and then you put this in? You put it all together. You put it in a place that's protected, and we'll get sun, and you add water, and then you have to turn it. So you can't just look at it. Oh, Okay. About once a week, it needs to be turned. You just take a pitchfork well, and just move it around. how long do you keep this around. stuff before well, you plant it with I, your plants? Well, that's what I'm going to show you next, <laughs> is once you do all of these things in about four to six weeks, depending on the amount that you're working with and all of the, uh, you know, how warm it's been, how much rain it got. This is what it's going to look like. Now, this that I took out had eggs in it. You don't have to do anything with the eggshells. They will break down. They're great, you know, they supply calcium, which is very important. And they just, on their own, they just break down. But this is at about four to six weeks. So as you see, this isn't a, I put it in, I take it out tomorrow. It's you just gotta have some time. But like I said, it's gold because you're not paying for it. And you're using this is stuff you would throw what away you already anyway. Have. That's right. So you've put it all together, you've given it water and sun, and you've turned it, and in about four to six weeks, this is what you get. Now that looks pretty, you know, that doesn't look good. So now that, if you wanted to plant <clears throat> something, you would put this in with the soil and mix it Not all. yet. It's no. not ready yet. Oh my goodness, this is complicated. <laughs> what does she have now? Well, the last thing. <clears throat> this is six to eight weeks. Now, if you can see this, Peggy and our viewers see the difference? Yeah, this looks dark brown. Uh, it is. That, now, this is kind of dry. We can mess with this because it's not, <clears throat> I'll try not to make a big mess. It's sort of dry because of the conditions. Even though I water it, you know, it everything, the water just evaporates. It's just gone so quick right now because it's so hot and dry. But this is what you're going to use now. I'm not too picky. It doesn't hurt my feelings a bit to put that into the ground. Where I, because I have good old upstate red soil, clay. And it, it isn't so good, That's is it? Right. Well, what's in it is good. All its makeup, it's what it's like, what it feels like. Because being the clay, water can't get in, the roots can't get in, the nutrients can't get in. But you put this in it, and it breaks up that clay, and it helps make it what it's supposed to be. But if you watch, if I mess with it, see it breaks up, and it'll become real fine. And some people don't like it looking like this. So you can make but it doesn't a wire. matter. You're going to put it in the ground anyway. You're what is gonna, the well, it suits what it looks me. Like? You know, it doesn't bother me. But some people want it to to be good. They mm -hmm. want it to look like what they paid ten dollars for at the box store. You know, so you can take this and you can make a screen on a, like put wire screening on a box, four-sided box, 
and you take this and break it up and work with it so you've got really fine, good looking stuff. When I, when I, mine has gotten to the point that I don't mind putting my hands in it, I just put it in my soil and this is gold. It cost me nothing because I'd already used all of these products. That you would have thrown away. That's right. My goodness. And now, even though I have bins because I have a resource to have them, if I didn't, like I said, you can just dedicate a space. And as long oh, as I, I use all of When you say dedicate a things, space, do you mean outside in, yes, in the ground? Outside, yes, on the ground. Uh, mm -hmm. Some place in a corner of your... That's right. Some place in the corner of my yard that, I mean, even if you live with on a, and had just a deck, okay. if you take care of it, and like I said, if it smells, it's because it needs water. If okay. you take care of it, and it, you know, on your deck, it's not gonna be much more than what I've got. Yeah. And as you can see, all of this went together to become this, and then finally this. So and you don't get this is what you put lot. in with the soil. In with my soil. And so when you're going to plant flowers or vegetables, I guess vegetables, anything. Anything that your soil needs to be amended, then you put this in there. Well, we're learning from a master gardener, that's for sure. <laughs> that is amazing because... And as you can see, I mean, I had my hands in it. It's but just like, it's soil. That's what it is now. So it's ready to be put into the good earth. That's right. Now, the, uh, you know, it occurs to me that this kind of thing would be fascinating for children. If you have yes, grandchildren and they come to visit and, you know, you can do stuff with your that's kids. That's right. And they're learning. That's right, because children always love making certain, like, you know, my grandson will call me Granny Dee Dee. He's little, so he's not yet. But like, I'm hoping that he'll want to say, Granny Dee Dee, did you throw away those po potato peels tonight? You know, did you, or did you so put you those in the compost? So you take what you use in That's the right. kitchen, mm -hmm. for instance. Potato peels, right. coffee grounds, egg, you have egg shells? Mm -hmm. Egg shells. There is one thing I almost failed to say, but it cannot be meat. Oh, and okay. it, like bacon or anything to do with meat. And the reason has nothing to do with not making the salt. It would, but it, it attracts vermin. Oh, yeah. And so and that, you know, if the rats come to get your meat. Get, you'd have uninvited exactly. guests, wouldn't you? Then you've got to do something to get yeah. rid of them. So it's just a policy across the board. You do not use meat. And you have little strips of paper in here. That's right. And my bag is failing, apparently, so don't let it get all, all over right. me. Sorry. So, so you can just use anything from the kitchen? Yes. And, and you need a container. That's correct. That you or can put a dedicated this in, spot. Or a That's spot right. in your yard. Mm -hmm. But it, if you That's lived right. in a, well, an apartment or a condo right. or something like that, you can like still that, have You something. could still have a container and put That's this in right. it. Mm -hmm. And then you'd have, then you add this to the soil after it, after it when becomes you're ready to plant. this, that's right, when you're ready to plant. So you would, if you had flowers or a vegetable garden or whatever that, right. you're, that you're going to plant, Correct. you would put this in with the soil. That's right. You'd mix and it all I'm in. And if I'm planting one plant, I don't have to put all of this in there as though I made all of this, did all this composting for one little plant. I'd only have to use, if I dig my hole for my plant, and I, I break up that soil and stuff, and then I want to amend it, all I'd have to use is about Just, a cup of this. So I'm still okay. left with several cups for something else. Okay. Because once I put this into whatever, whether it's red clay or whatever, then it begins to break it down, and this will continue to break down and to become finer, and as it does, it causes the other soil to break down and become more amenable for the water to move okay, and the roots. Okay, so now if you're going to start a project of composting, yes. you do this and you need a container yes. to, to keep it, and that needs to be in the sun? Yes. And then you occasionally you'd water it? That's right. And then how do you know when it's ready to put in the soil? Well, when it looks like this. When it breaks down to just right. look. Because you can kind of see those were together and then this is about four to six weeks. And this weeks. is a lot finer. And then this is six to eight weeks. And you can, and like, there's a little stick. Well, there's no telling what that little stick came off, but that's but no big matter. deal. You just throw it away. You know, if there's something, it wouldn't bother me. It'd go in the hole with the plant, yeah. you know, yeah. so.
Yeah. So this is, um, you learned all this by being a master gardener? Yes, I did. <laughs> and tell me about what, what other things. Are master gardeners programs available for people uh, in the southeast? Or is it a national you, program? It is national. It is. You mean to become a master gardener? Yeah. Yes. They're available all over every, all over the nation. And so Does in it whatever take a county, long time to become a master gardener? Eight weeks. Eight weeks. Okay. Four hours a night. You don't go every night for eight weeks. No. I'm sorry. I apologize. Well, just four hours. <laughs> Once a week? Yes. Once a week. For four hours. Sorry. Okay. No. We're, we're not making, we're not ranking professionals here. We're That's, not quite that no, no, much. No. no, eight weeks, one day a week for four hours. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then after, and you learn all, not just this, but all about flowers and yes, vegetables all, and gardening right. in general. That's right. And different parts of the country have different problems with, with growing right. things. And so you all, need to know right. if you're in the southeast, what will flourish that's here. Right. I have met a lot of people through the Master Gardeners that have moved to upstate South Carolina from all over the country, and even some other countries have moved here. They have become master gardeners to learn how to garden in the upstate because everywhere you go, it's a it's, different need, it's a different process. It's a, you know, so it's a good way for them to help themselves, but then in turn, they go out and help others. I think you've been an inspiration, and I think we, we've become a nation of throwing things away, and maybe the, this is something, I, I just keep thinking about kids in the summertime, and grandchildren, and if you have access to children, this kind of thing, they get so excited That's right. about. And, and it costs nothing. It doesn't happen overnight, but because of its time frame, you could do this with children in their time out of school. Yeah. So this one, this one was eight weeks, mm -hmm. six weeks, and mm -hmm. on down. Mm -hmm. This is this is fun, Donna. Thank, thank you. you. I've I learned I've learned that. a lot today. I'll tell you. So this this can be more fun than just going and buying something. You're creating That's something. That's right. Yeah. Thank you. And you thanks are welcome. Thanks to the, the master gardeners all over this country who bring great joy to people That's and right. knowledge as well. Donna thank Hopkins. You. Thank I you. I appreciate thank it, Peggy. You. Thank and you. And wherever for you are, me. stay happy. We'll see you next time.